I'm gonna show you how to create static meta ads just like this one entirely with AI. Let's get right into it. The platform that we're gonna be using to create these static ads is called icon.com. It's relatively new and what they're building is pretty insane. It's an all-in-one tool to replace a bunch of different tools. Basically $39 a month for 14 products in one replaces 2K to 30K per month. And we're, we're gonna see how this plays out in practice. I'm gonna show you how to actually create these ads. So the first thing we'll do is we'll head over to the dashboard. So once you log into icon.com, the first thing you'll need to do is actually create a brand, okay? So it's just an easy onboarding process. You enter your website, it will start to scrape all your branding from the website and it will populate it in here. Now, next thing you wanna do is you can you can change brand settings. I'm just gonna to switch to a different brand right here. And then you can also add individual products, right? So if I come here and I can just go to add a new product and I can just enter the website URL, okay? So I'm gonna be doing this for one of my clients, loci.com. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select one of the bracelets with one of the causes and let's do this mental health bracelet. So I've opened the product page, I'm just gonna take the URL from the product page, I'm gonna paste it in here. I'm gonna search and then it's just gonna analyze the product page, process the content and gather the media. Right, it's gonna get all of this automatically for me. So this is really the first step is to load up the products that you wanna create ads for first, okay? So we'll let this load up and then we'll continue. Okay, and now we can see that it's actually loaded up all the assets. It's also got a description of what the product is, everything else, and then we'll just hit continue. Okay, so that now that's uploaded. So in order to actually create these static ads entirely made with AI, we're gonna go over to Ad GPT. Okay, and Ad GPT basically allows us to create video ads, static ads, create variations, and get ad ideas. We're gonna create a static ad, and we're gonna then choose our product. I'm gonna hit continue. Now we're gonna choose the aspect ratio that we want. I'm gonna choose vertical. Now we have three options. I'm gonna show you each of these three options. The first one is about cloning ads from winning brands or competitors. So if we choose this one, we get basically 187 ads to choose from, from quote unquote winning ads, okay? So we're selling a bracelet, and what we wanna do is maybe try and find ones that we see our product fitting into, okay? Well, it basically says select ads to clone, so I guess I could just select one and continue. So let me just find one that I think would actually be a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna choose this one right here, and then we're gonna hit continue. Then it's gonna prepare our ads, right? And it says the ad is being generated, it's gonna take three to five minutes to create the ad. So while this is being created, I'm actually gonna queue up some other ads using the other methods that I you know, went through in this process right here. So we're gonna go now to prompt, right? Prompt is basically where we create uh, ads from a prompt, like ChatGPT for ads. So I'm actually gonna create this right now. Okay, so first of all, um, you wanna prompt it like you would ChatGPT. So I have a prompt already prepared, and this is this says, show an organic looking image of one woman smiling, wearing the bracelet on their wrist, and holding up a piece of white paper with the following black text. My local purchase gives 10% back to mental health charities, Put the name Jenna in the top left and underneath the text, uh, underneath the name, put the text Boydie Isaho, add the loci logo to the bottom right, okay? And I have a reference image that I can actually upload to this to help it create it. And you always wanna add a, a reference image. I have this one right here. So in terms of like finding inspiration, what you can do is you can head over to foreplay and you can just come here to the discovery tab. You can add a filter. You can say I want the format to be images. You want the stages to be still running. And yeah, you can keep the, you can narrow down by niche as well. You can keep it open. I've just kept it open because I wanted to also look at, you know, what are some other industries where maybe we could take things that are working in other industries and bring them over to e-commerce, right? It's a great strategy for coming up with, with that ideas. I'm gonna go to oldest running. Now I'm just gonna get a feed of a bunch of different ads from different industries. Some of them are e-commerce, some of them are like Salesforce, SaaS, uh, some of them are info products, some is like insurance, medical, like yeah, coaching, conferences, a lot of different ones, right? So you can come here and find winning ads that have been running for years and use those as inspiration for Icon to, to work from. So that's exactly what I did with this ad, with this, uh, with this one right here, which is basically from Octopus Energy. It's an energy company that helps you save on your energy bills, okay? I was interested in the format, so I just took that, I downloaded it from uh, Foreplay, and then I just um, uploaded it into Icon, okay? So now I'm gonna click Generate, and same thing, the ads are gonna generate in the background, and we can just you know come back once they're ready. So I'm gonna do the final queue of the static ad style, which vertical concepts, right? So we generate multiple concepts from deep research and create ads of the ones you like, all right? So basically here are just, you know, different ways we can go about this. We can add, add an image again for a style or something that we want the AI to copy. We can add a prompt here as well, just describing what the image is, or like rather than adding a, like some text here, we can, you know, add these, we can choose one of these, right, basically. Funny urgency, billboard, eye-catching meme storytelling as like a style of ad, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload a reference image and let's actually just try and leave this empty and we're going to create, let's just say something that's storytelling. 
okay? We're gonna hit continue, and then it's gonna start generating the concepts. And again, it's gonna take three to five minutes for, for that to complete, but we'll come back to it once it's ready, and then we'll see how you know they actually turned out. Okay, before they actually start generating the ads, what we have to do is select the concepts you wanna use for the ads, right? So we have three different concepts that the AI has come up with and presented us as to what you wanna focus on. So first one is every bead tells a story. This is like audience, emotionally aware individuals who connect with symbolic jewelry, cinematic close up of the bracelet on the wrist with translucent story panels flowing from the beads, showing life moments. Highest highs, lowest lows, perfect balance, audience, aspects between cinematic composition. The chapter you're writing now, let's try this one and we'll hit continue. And yep, those are gonna be generated. So. Basically, what you wanna do is you wanna come back to the canvas to actually see how these ads turned out. And I'm gonna show you not just these ones, but I'm gonna show you ones I created in the past so you can see multiple examples, okay? So we'll just collapse this right here. What you're gonna see in the canvas is you're gonna see a raw ad, which is like almost like ChatGPT generated, and then you're gonna get the auto-corrected ad. So the Icon AI takes the raw ad that's generated already by the AI, and it refines it a little bit. And it's gonna notice maybe some areas that it can improve on the ad, okay? So this one right here, you're entirely generated by fine balance and life, reduced stress, stable, driven brace resilience. You can see that the text, you know, the, the sizing, the spacing is not cohesive. Um, let's actually see what they come up with with the, uh, the auto-corrected ads, see if they actually fix that or not. Uh, worst case, you know, you, you can actually um, edit these ads post-production within icon.com as well. In the meantime, I'll show you some ones I created a while ago. So these ones right here are about carrying both extremes, right, showing that, you know, one bead has water from Mount Everest and one bead has mud from the Dead Sea. Everest peak, Dead Sea's depths balanced in a single circle, right? Ex you know, completely done by AI. And what we can do is, well, we, we can edit these ads, as I said. So it's gonna open up an editor for us. And the editor, I mean, it's somewhat limited, but you know, it's, it's, it's good enough, right? You can also export these and, and edit them as well. But you know, you can change the background image, you can change the image of the product itself, right? These are all like clickable, similar to like a Canva editor, where you can change these and you know, change the copy, all that stuff as well, okay? So if we come back here, I'll just show you some more ads that were created entirely with AI. You know, this one is like a quote, symbolic beads, shows the product. This one right here is kind of like a phone notification, right, we find your balance. I mean, th there's a, some improvements to be made here, like there's some things that shouldn't be in here for sure. The billboard one, which is, I mean, pretty simple, straightforward one, the product looks a little bit weird against this background. But yeah, you can see here this one, pretty good with just the sticky note. And this one right here as well, uh, inspires hope, provides balance, supports mental health, subscribe and save, of course, you know, you can change the button text. You know, the whole goal with this guy is that it, it makes creating static ads faster but also it comes up with the ideas for you in you know in a lot of ways just by adding some prompts or, or explaining what it is you want, okay? So it's not gonna save you a lot of time, it's gonna save you a lot of money as well because you know creating these ads, you're gonna be able to create an exponentially higher amount of ads than you know having someone to do this for you. So with that in mind, you know, you will have to refine these a little bit, like the AI is not perfect. And of course you can, you know, play with the prompts, like maybe the more detailed, you know, ex you know excruciating detail. Uh, the you know the, the more accurate you're gonna be able to get this okay so this one right here we see like there's a little bit of an inconsistency this one actually came out uh, decent but yeah if we can edit this you know we'll be able to add a, a box around this one as well so if you remember one of the prompts you made was the image of someone holding up a piece of paper and um, holding up like showing the bracelet on the wrist and basically saying that it gives back you know 10 percent to mental mental health charities this came out pretty well i would say uh, where your values each bracelet carries your commitment to mental health support one beat at a time it shows the bracelet on the wrist it's you know woman smiling Jenna from Boise, Idaho, and my local approach gives 10% back to mental health charities. I would, you know, maybe change this uh, font to more like a handwritten font to make it look a little bit more realistic, but, you know, pretty good for, for AI. And this one right here is, is another concept I created, which is basically one that uses like text messaging between like a friend. And did you hear the news? Yes, start to freak out, look at your wrist. When anxiety hits, look down, a bracelet that reminds you what matters, 10% to mental health. Like, yeah, we can, you know, edit that and add the H, right? This one is another cool one. I think this actually came out pretty well. The text that changes everything, I'm so stressed out, I can't calm down. I feel like everything is going wrong, look at your wrist, right? And it points directly down to the wrist with a bracelet on it, which I think is, is pretty cool. And when anxiety hits, look down, a bracelet that reminds you what matters, 10% to mental health, find your balance, right? Pretty good. These are just different, like the same style, but just uh, different, like same person. Jenna from Boise, Idaho. But like, you know, she's sitting in a different location. She looks like she's sitting off the couch uh, here, but you know, we can prompt this and, and you know, improve it over time. These ones are coming, it's very interesting actually, because they've taken um, like a different product from the website. So they've actually gone and found like a different product. Every bead tells a story where the balance of life's highs and lows. Reminder that your journey matters. This one, again, similar concept, but using a different product that they've just taken from the website, which I think is pretty cool that, you know, they didn't stick within the same product that we gave them. They actually went out and found other products. And this is like where you can create 
um, multiple concepts, right? Just with one idea, you can actually go out and create multiple ads for you. So this is how to create static ads for Meta entirely with AI within icon.com. If you're interested in using icon.com, there'll be a link down below to go and check that out. And if you're running an e-commerce brand that's doing over 100K per month in revenue and you're looking to scale much faster, hit your objectives much faster and just a lot more effortlessly than you currently are, well, myself and my team at my agency, Hayes, this is exactly what we specialize in. We specialize in producing ad creatives for clients, UGC static ads, winning ad creatives, improving your win rate to really find those winners that you can really scale. And we can also provide the meta ads media buying as well. So if that's something you're interested in, then there's a link also below this video. You can check us out. You can book a call with me directly and we'll have a chat about your business and see if there's a fit for us to work together. If there's not, I'll tell you up front, we are very particular in who we hire. We're a small agency, we only work with a handful of brands. So yeah, as I said, if you're interested in hitting your objectives for scale much faster, then definitely go ahead and book that call and I will see you there soon. All right, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.